Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Let's Talk Abs Weekly. I'm going to give you everything, what happening with the Montreal Canadian for the last week, and preview what is coming for the Montreal Canadian. So don't go nowhere. Here we go. It's time to talk about Lex Talk Abs with the Hockey Coach Guru Code Frenchy for the Hockey Nation Show. I'm going to give you everything what you need to know. But before we leave, boom, right there. Please click on the likes and finally tell us what you think about the Montreal Canadian for the upcoming week or what they did last week. So let's dive in about this. And the first thing we want to talk this week is give you an, uh, an idea what's going on. This is the March 14 to the March 20 week. We're going to review the game. We're going to talk about the Ben Chariot trade, uh, Caulfield straight uh, with goals, uh, injury update, uh, Shoneman uh, and Jake Allen and Pack uh, prospect update and uh, the trade deadline. Let's talking about this right away. And the first thing I want to mention: Montreal last week played only three games. They have a one, one, and one. That's what they did so far last week, and they lost. Uh, Tuesday, again, Arizona uh, scored 6-3. Uh, remember, the Arizona scored four goals at the first period. Um, Montebo was not ready. Honestly, he got removed. And he finished the second and the third period with Caden Primo. Uh, Dallas uh, lost again. They lost again. Dallas by a score of 4-3 and OT. Uh, Montreal took the lead 3-2, but uh, John, uh, John Clambert, I have another idea about that game because he scored a two goal tidy game and a goal winning game um, again the Montreal Canadian and finally uh, that game we got the first goal of the Corey Shoneman and NHL Caulfield also had another goal finally the last game of the week was Saturday and then Montreal stepped up got that W uh, 5-1 great performance overall uh, of the team, but also the Jake Allen Coffee score again, and then Biron Armia had another goal on that game. Um, what they had again still in the standing, Montreal, they are eight in the division of Classic, and they are 31 in NHL at the moment. I record this uh, video. The next thing we're going to go back now is the Ben Chariot trade, um, and Florida Panthers, um, so in the middle of the week. Sir. The Montreal got the first round of the Panthers 2023 year. Uh, they got also the player for Cunha Pick, uh, Ty Smilenik, uh, um, born in Denver, Colorado, and also got the fourth round pick uh, 2022. Honestly, uh, for Ben Chariot become a UFA, this is a good trait uh, for the Montreal Canadian. And they got a prospect, they got a first round. And uh, another Rick, uh, round pick. That's for me a great job for Ken Hughes. Uh, ben did very, very well three years for the Montreal. He was a UFE sign a couple years ago from the Winnipeg Jet. Uh, Sherrod played a good, make an impact during the playoff last season. We know his physicality. Bring a bit more offensive this year. Uh, he has about, what, seven goals. And uh, that's something he did not bring a lot the last uh, couple of years with, uh, with uh, Montreal. But uh, look, he's going to bring uh, some depth in the Florida Panthers, where they trade also with Claude Giroux. Uh, so um, the Florida Panthers one of the best team in the NHL. So Sherwood's going to finish the year over there, become a UFA at the end of the year. So it's going to be a possibility for him to stay over there or to go some other team in NHL. Uh, um, Cole Caulfield, OMG. First of all, He's on the straight without a full game with one goal. Secondly, the last 17 game under Martin Saint with 12 goals, 10 assists, 22 points, 52 shots on the net. Just to give you an idea, that's give him a three shot minimum average per game. Uh, he's now the best uh, top 10 um, in uh, Calter rookies players in NHL uh, at that moment. Uh, the last five games, five goals, two assists, seven points. The kids is unbelievable what he's doing right now, uh, and we have to give credit uh, for his change came after he got a stop in Wisconsin's uh, Badger where he played last season. 
At the same time, he got a COVID. He have to stay in USA for five more extra days. He decided to go to Wisconsin with Joel Almeida, and he met his ex-coach. I don't know why. It was maybe a coincidence, but when he come back, a couple of days later, uh, Dominic Chan got fired. Martin Saint-Louis become a coach, and then Caulfield is on fire since that day. So I don't know all match together, and then is it Wisconsin, is it Martin Saint-Louis? I don't know. Only I know he has now confidence. He trusts himself. He believes in himself. He's not afraid anymore to score. And he finds a way to put the puck in the net. And uh, that's for me, that's the big difference for Cole Caulfield. The Cole Caulfield, the first 45 game, and the Cole Caulfield, the last 17 game, is another different player. So congratulations for Cole Caulfield. Uh, um, now we are at the end of the trade deadline. The one you're going to watch this uh, video is going to be almost a couple hours before the end. Uh, Montreal still talking possible to trade Brett Kolak. The increasing name of the Arturi Likonen is uh, more and more. Um, what they're looking in return for me is now McBain just didn't do this now. is not in the market anymore it just got trade late late midnight last night uh from the minnesota wall to the arizona community so make me make bain is not a possibility for the montreal uh they're really looking for the picks a great high prospect and return for liquor and kolak couldn't you have another plus possible but i don't see uh can use to be very active in the last couple hours before the end of the trade deadline. Uh, and during the summer, that's why really more the, the Montreal is going to be maybe more chance to trade higher level, uh, higher salary players, like maybe Hoffman, Gallagher, Petri, uh, those kind of situation. We know what's coming now is to figure out the situation in the goaltender uh, because Carey Price may be close. We know Jake Allen come back. Now the Ammons coming the next two weeks in Montembo. So we had four goaltender. Something have happened. So expect uh, can you take some decision very soon. Uh, the injury update. Andrew Ammon, one to two weeks. Uh, David Saval is a day to day. Uh, Brennan Gallagher got hurt last week is a day to day. Carey Price back on the ice on the optional uh, with the optional team plus. So uh, he's getting closer, closer. Then he come back. Then he go to Laval. Uh, then he play game, does not play game. I don't know. Uh, this situation is only Carey Price knows this. So we're going to see uh, the next couple of days uh, what happening. Uh, now, we got last week great news because Joel Edmondson starts to uh, come back Tuesday. And then we have Christian Devarek. He was back Thursday. And then Dwight Anderson was back Saturday. So four uh, good players uh, for uh, the lineup for the Montreal return with uh, the team. So it was great to see those kind of veterans with, uh, with the Montreal Canadiens. At that moment, they returned in Laval, Kaden uh, uh, Primo, and Jesse uh, Elonen uh, uh, during the week. Uh, uh, the fourth the star of the week's guy is uh, Corey Shenemann. Uh The 26 years old, uh, produced from West Michigan, never been drafted in the NHL. Montreal got him now. For the last um, uh, year and a half, I believe, with, uh, in this organization, uh, he came during the, week, uh, during the season. Nobody knew, really knew who was Corey Shenemann. Uh, but uh, since he was a Montreal, he's really, really, really impressive on the way he played uh, at a point where I believe Montreal is going to keep him uh, longer uh, for sure. He scored his first goal in the NHL Thursday night against the Dallas Star. Uh, to tie the game, uh, but um, honestly, did not get enough for the Montreal win. But what we likes for him, for me, is the skating. Really great on his edge, the puck management, the puck protection, uh, the, the, his composure, calm. Uh, you can see his confidence is increasing uh, game after game. He's more involved with the offensive side. Uh, he don't, does not make a lot of mistakes for the rookie and in NHL. Really, really, really impressed by Corey Shenemann. Um, uh, you have to enjoy this kid right now for the Montreal Canadiens. So I give him the four star of the week. And I, think I want to mention also Jake Adam back in the lineup with the Montreal Canadiens. Played the last two games. You can see already a, conf uh, a difference between the Jake Allen and the other goaltender we got. 
the last couple of weeks, Oman, since he left the Montreal with injury. So uh, Jake Allen was impressive uh, with uh, his second game. Uh, he, he just, he just bring the calm around the team, control everything. He tracked the puck, he square, does not give a lot of rebound, uh, play the puck very well around the net. Uh, I'll be honestly, uh, we miss Jake Allen um, with a Montreal Canadian. The prospect review, I'm going to disappear for that one with Agus, uh, give you a bunch of things. I want you to take your time to check that graphic, but look, Shane Farrell have an amazing great weeks last week. Pinal scored three points uh, last game, and then you have also uh, Jordan Harris, uh, Shane Wright, uh, Harbour, Egg Jack have an amazing great month of March so far, and what about Kepenen? Uh, increasing more his offensive during the last couple of weeks uh, over there in Finland. And Connor Kiki, a uh, draft pick, is uh, a goal that was during the last game. Then we have other games during the, the week. Uh, Zafoski continues to scoring over there. Uh, Jan Mizak scores 28 of the season, have two points. Arbor A. Jack, another goal. Eli Kitney have a great week also uh, with Charlestown uh, with three points. Logan Cooley have an assist. Uh, Pinal have another goal. We have Ferrell, two points, five points this week. Uh, we know already with Caulfield, Pesela. And then we have Joshua, who an amazing, great year. Again, he consists to produce. Cooley have a two points last week, last game, and Matthew Sauer have one point. That gives you an idea. So for the prospect for Montreal, Cole Caulfield, you already know about him. Joshua, who number one best scorer in QM, hit me. Doing very well for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I put a West as a mistake over there. Me, Zach, uh, have a good week with the uh, Arbor A. Jack. And finally, Kaden Coley is on the uh, out for a couple of days, so maybe a week after he got a fight and uh, looked like he was hurt during that fight. Uh, that's all about the prospect review. We're going to give you more information about this for the next couple of weeks before the end of the season. Uh, I'm going to try what they got this week. Uh, they honestly have um, a four game. They play Monday night uh, against the Boston Bruins. Then they're going to go three games and four nights. Uh, and it's going to start on Thursday at home again, Florida Panthers. They also got the Toronto Maple Leaf. And then they're going to travel to New Jersey. They will Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Two games back to back last next weekend. Uh, Sunday night is a, a COVID uh, game cancel. They're going to play again. Or they will. They rematch that schedule or reschedule this game at this Sunday. I apologize. So very big week for Montreal. They play a very difficult week, honestly, with Florida and Toronto and Boston. And then next week, uh, Tuesday, uh, they play again Florida. So uh, Montreal have a very difficult time uh, with their schedule. We'll see how they're going to play again those teams. Uh, so something we have to follow up. I just complete another uh, weekly uh, Montreal Canadiens Let's Talk apps uh, with, the mon uh, with the hockey coach, your local friendship for the Hockey Nation. I show before we leave, we invite you, please don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation live show. And please uh, click on the likes and tell me what you think about the Montreal for the week. Uh, and I want to remind you, we are live uh, uh, streaming four hours Monday for the trade deadline to end. Then we are returned for all the game Montreal Canadiens. I'm going to do the play-by-play. -play. We invite you to join us and to meet all the members of the Hockey Nation Live show in a great uh, talking about the hockey. So I wish you an amazing, amazing great week. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. <laughs>